Hi, welcome back. This is Mr. Howard. Uh, screencast for uh, unit What's the Matter in the topic of density. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. Density, physical property of uh, matter. Um, as long as it doesn't go through a chemical change, that uh, substance will always have the same density regardless of the uh, state of uh, matter that it is in. Um, density is the mass of a substance uh, per unit volume of that substance. Equation looks like density equals mass in grams over the volume uh, in milliliters or in cubic centimeters. Milliliters will be a liquid measurement. Cubic centimeters will be something that is solid. The diagram here to the right, uh, you may have this on quizzes or tests. Uh, or this is something that you can memorize. This is a simple way to determine a variable that you're looking for. Let's say that you don't know the mass uh, uh, of your substance or you're, you're trying to solve for the variable mass in your uh, example. So what you can do is simply uh, cover up the M and that would tell you that density is going to be multiplied by volume. So we'll try to give this a shot in some diagrams that we're going to do on the net, or not diagrams, <laughs> uh, questions that we're going to try to solve on the next slide. Density practice. Given the following mass, volume, and density information, calculate the missing quantity. Show all of your work. Don't forget units and significant figures. Uh, mass equal, Number one, mass equals 122.4 grams. Volume is unknown. And density equals 0 .99, 0 0.922 grams per milliliter. Let's go back to that other diagram. Again, let's remember volume is our unknown. So we look at this diagram, cover up or put your finger over the volume symbol. What that indicates to you is that you have mass divided by density. Density equals mass or volume. Or we have that diagram that we made, which is M up here. Uh, we had D over here, and then we had V over here. Uh, our question is asking us to solve for volume. So if we cover up the volume section here, we end up having density. I would do by milliliters over 0 0.922 grams, and I end up having 123 decimal milliliters. This right here is the density of the object. And that density now is a unit. It has a mass and it has a volume. My volume G here is gram. I'm able to cancel out my grams there, and the mathematics now is back to 120 milliliters, which is my volume. That's how you end up solving this problem. We have two more to do, so give them a shot and then come to class and get the answers. You have two practice problems on your own to work through. Uh, try those, come to class to find the answers. Uh, we're going to look at determining density from a graph. What we're going to end up using is slope is equal to rise, and this little line here should be in between this, so it's rise over run, which equals to the change in the y-axis over the change in the x-axis to determine 
our density. Uh, what we can do is come over here and we can go up on the y-axis uh, and we come to 50 grams. Uh, we come across and then we go down and we hit the 10 cubic centimeters on the x-axis. Well, 50 divided by 10 equals 5, so the density of this object, whatever it is, is 5 grams per uh, cubic centimeter of substance. So we can use a graph to determine the density of an object as well as solving for the variable in the questions that we had on the previous diagram. You're going to be responsible for identifying density in both fashions using a graph or through the questions that you practiced on the last slide. Give it all a try. Come to class tomorrow. Uh, summarize this video in a paragraph for Mr. Howard. Come to class with at least two questions about the video uh, and share them with Mr. Howard tomorrow. So long.